Genetic flux analyzed. The Tesseract is clear. Subject confirmed. The Dark Lord's life running is by one solar cycle. Genetic decay analyzed. Redeem or destroy. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's life span is by one solar cycle. There. Mother's mark analyzed. Someone must be sacrificed. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's life span increases by one solar cycle. Life death balance recorded. Beware his desires. Subject identified. The Dark Lord's life span increases by one solar cycle. Lord Vajal. Was all to your satisfaction, my lord? Were the machines responsive? The Dark Lord's lifespan increases by a solar cycle. Does that mean something to you? Then it was real. What was real? Real. Arctis believed, Thanaton believed, but I doubted. I, I feared to offer you false hope. The machines are made to increase life expectancy, cellular rejuvenation. For, for anyone without your uh, exotic past, the process would surely have failed. But for you, Dark Lord, those machines have granted you months or years. A taste of immortality. You're saying we've just... what? Stumbled on the secret to eternal life? Not at all. We've only just begun. Grant me battalions to pacify this world. Grant me scientists to replicate the machines. Grant me fleets to explore the dwarf galaxy. Now we know the secret to your everlasting glory is here. We need only find it. My lord, I have concerns about this course of action. You are here to advise. Advise me. The long search for immortality so often leads to ruin. You saw this with your first master. Who will count Zash among the great Sith when she squandered her power on a fruitless quest? And now, with our empire in such need of your resources... I will remember your counsel, but I am not Zash. Lord Vajal, Moff Pyron will supply you troops as soon as possible. Keep me informed of all progress. Yes, Dark Lord. If it requires a year and a thousand men for each month of life you gain, it will be done. Good. For now, I have an empire to run and crises to see to. All glory to Darth Imperius. All glory to you. <laughs> Approaching Torches Island. Okay, so I'm a little rustier than I'd like to admit. But just a little. Felt good to be in a real scrap for once. If I'm not mistaken, Mandalorian duels are meant to be to the death. One, you aren't Mando. Two, that was just a fun bit of sparring. So, you know the Blades went and partnered up with the Revenites. Means you probably know they're up to no good. We helped out the Blades to have a good relationship with Raiders Cove. We didn't sign up for the Revenites and they're all out war, so we bailed. Put out the call to your clan. 
You fight for the Empire now. Yeah. My days of working for the Empire are long gone. Give me a single target that's worth my going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. That's fine. But the Ravenites and their fleet of warships? Pass. Where are these ships? Couldn't tell you. I wouldn't mind it a bit if you chased the Revenites out of Rishi. Off the radar is just how we like it here. Good hunting to you, Sith. Kesush Mandoade! Who's up for a Skarkla hunt? And your frustration, Jakaro, but there's only so much of your bluster I'm prepared to take. What's going on? Theron's been captured by the Revenites. Data from the Nova Blades hinted at the location of a Revenite safe house in Raider's Cove. We looked into it and were ambushed. You should have waited for me to finish with the Mandalorian clan. Absolutely stupid. I'll concede we acted in haste. In retrospect, maybe the lead was simply too tempting for us to have trusted it. Whatever the case, I stand by my decision to not impede in Theron's abduction. And I know Theron would too. Now he's in a position to do what he does. We're talking about a seasoned SIS operative. If the Revenites took him to their base, he could learn a lot. Of course, if we're to make any use of that knowledge, we'll have to exfiltrate him all the same. Hopefully you've fared better with the Mandalorians. Revan has a fleet of warships on standby. Of course. From examining the Nova Blades data, it looks as though they've been routing Imperial and Republic fleets here to Rishi. So, the Empire and the Republic are drawn into a full-scale battle, and whoever's left standing, the Revanites pick off. And we still don't know who we can trust. We need to interfere with the Revenite's plans, if not stop them outright. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, it's true. I was able to pinpoint several communications originating from another island. I'm told there's a Rishi village on the outskirts. I can't imagine they would resent our presence there. Do you think it matters to me if they mind? I was only pointing out that they're not terribly concerned with the affairs of others. We have to assume Revan's expecting a resistance force now. You should expect to find patrols along the way. You're new. Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way, but I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? I'm taking over here. You can help by not getting in the way. There really is nothing to take over in the village. No ownership or hierarchy. You're welcome to do as you will. I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. You cleared the path well. And made a friend. I am called a Renkow. The other inhabitants on this island, are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. No matter what they look like, they're as good as dead. So, there's a camp for Imperial traitors and one for Republic Revenites. And they're not exactly friends. This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. 
Don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. I'll take a closer look at these Ravenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I. We, Rishi, would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins. Lord Ivris, sir, there's... it's... Dark Lord, how can this be? We have found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. You learned about us and thought Mar could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. I want you to consider who you're speaking to. Then decide whether you care to test your theory. You're bluffing. Strike at us now, and you won't make it out of this camp alive. I'll survive. And you'll be the first to go. Then the sergeant. You know I'm right. She makes an excellent point, my lord. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but... I can speak for those present. You're already a one-time traitor. I'm afraid I can only trust you to die. I... I suppose I had this coming. Do me a favor. Captain Milanek. if I'm to die, he should do. If what you're hearing is true, if Lord Everest is really dead, I need eyes on confirmation. Go. I can confirm it for you, Captain. I had my eyes on Everest the moment he died. By the stars. No matter what happens to me, Revan's crusade goes on. You know that, don't you? You can barely hold your composure. I know you fear me. I... I don't know where Revan is. Not for sure, but there's a stronghold in the valley. It's where they took Thur and Sean. I swear, it's the best information I have. And I can't ask up the chain, they'll only grow suspicious of me. You have far outlived your usefulness, Captain. If ever you were useful to begin with. <laughs> Lana, Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revan is there as well. I have D4, see what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned. I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I could see you making a home here. Really? New seat of the Empire, maybe? As I mentioned earlier, I did acquire some information worth noting. Rishi observations surrounding the Revanite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. I don't care who or what they have guarding that place. They won't stop me from getting to Revan. <laughs> I don't believe Miss Benico was finished, Jakaro. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Maar's flagship is among them. If 
If Mar can't handle an ambush, he isn't fit for the Dark Council. Fair enough. If that's how you feel, I merely thought you'd want to be fully informed. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Sean is recovered. Yes. Preferably alive. Now go show the Revenites, and, fate willing, Reven himself, why you are not to be trifled with. I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan? No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down. I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. I get you've lost your mind. I understand how you might see it that way from your narrow point of view. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. What are you talking about? Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you, but he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight. Try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build him a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi space. It'll be a bloodbath. The next time I see you in person, you won't be pulling off any miraculous survival. Actually, I doubt I'll ever see you again. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. Hello? Are you there? Lana, what just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron, good to know you're alive. I heard everything about the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. Take it easy, I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good! The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. He's lucky I arrived when I did. I'd hardly say that. You know what, never mind. Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revanite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. Let them try to stop me. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. 
mehu keta jehu paha ka ke chu hin chu chi bu ko wa na nu si go ma ha ra ze kwa ha bu ya ka wo ba hwa bo tu ka fa da ya dai I've arrived. We read you. Should have a list of the traitors. Finally, an open line. Grandmaster Sean, it appears we have been set upon each other by your ancestor. Yes, we were notified by an agent of ours whose planet side. We're taking measures to detain the traitors among us. As are we. Given the nature of the threat, I suggest we speak in person. Very well. A neutral location. There's a pirate town on Rishi. My team will send the coordinates. That will do. Then we are agreed. A truce. For the time being. It would appear we've reached an accord, and without a council majority. We both know time is too short for consultations and politics. Satil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revanite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now, we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. I take no issue with the Emperor's demise. He no longer holds any power over us. Agreed, but there's more to it than that. The Emperor hungers. If restored, he would attempt to consume all life in the galaxy, and I am certain he would succeed. No one, not Revan, not the Jedi, not you, not me, would be able to stop him. 
Darth Mar and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I. For the Empire and for the galaxy. That went surprisingly well, I think. Yeah. It's nice to see the Empire and Republic can work together without stabbing each other in the back. It was the right move arranging for your capture. We've succeeded, haven't we? Unbelievable. Where's the trust, huh? Did they go wander off someplace, or was it never there to start with? If you were in on the plan, the Revanites might have been able to see that. What, you mean mind tricks and all that? I have implants. I'm protected. I meant your performance. Admit it, you might have betrayed the truth. It's... not impossible, okay? Let's just drop it. <coughs> Isn't there... anything else you wanted first? Yes. Will that be all? We've lingered too long already. Time is short, and the fate of our empire stands before us. I'm with you, Dark Lord, no matter what. Right. What she said, but less Sithy. I do hope we get to kill a lot more Revanites. Not as satisfying as when I'm fully assembled and can do it myself, but still, dead Revanites. I believe we're ready when you are, my lord. To Yavin 4, then. Let's finish this.